Hey everyone, Steve here from New Gamer Nation, and we're talking to Arthur from Grim Dawn. Uh, the game looks amazing. Well, thank you. Could you tell us a little bit about it for those that don't know anything about it? Yeah, sure. I mean, Grim Dawn is basically like your traditional action RPG, you know, with uh, the fast combat, the itemization, the complex mm -hmm. character development that you would expect. But we also have uh, some traditional RPG features. I mean, in a way, it's a little bit of like a Diablo meets Baldur's Gate. Mm -hmm. There's quests with choice and consequence, and some of them can be significant. Um, there's actually like one quest where some outlaws are oppressing town people, forcing them to work for them. And mm -hmm. depending on how you resolve it, you can accidentally have them burn the town down. Mm -hmm. um, there's other NPCs you can rescue out in the world. They'll reappear later and provide mm -hmm. services for you, like uh, vendor services or blacksmithing, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's also a lot of like just secret stuff you can uncover. I mean, I, I, I think sometimes uh, developers you know, can uh, exaggerate a little bit, but mm -hmm. I would say it's probably no exaggeration to say that we have more secret stuff in the game than any action RPG that's come out. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of it are things like um, there's a, a field stone wall you can break through and find a hidden cultist camp. And then behind the cultist camp, there's a locked metal door. Mm -hmm. and initially, you don't know how to open it. Mm -hmm. But later on, as you venture on, if you explore everything, you'll find a note that reveals that one of the NPCs in town is actually in collaboration with the cultists. Mm -hmm. And you can confront him and either let him go for a bribe and he'll give you a key or you can fight him and take it. Mm -hmm. And then you go back, open the door, and it's just a whole dungeon with a unique boss at the end. So. Right, right. That's really cool. What are the um, classes like in the um, progression in the, in the game? So we got five classes right now. We're looking to add a sixth. The uh, current classes are uh, more of a melee tanky soldier, mm -hmm. uh, demolitionist that focuses on explosives and fire damage. And you know, you could most of the classes you could play either way. You, could, you know, with different weapon types, you could play mm -hmm. a, you know most of them melee or ranged. Mm -hmm. um, although some are sort of more skewed towards one or the other. Mm -hmm. um, after demolitionist, there's the occultist, which is more of like your dark magic, uh, mm -hmm. curses, debuffs, damage over time. Mm -hmm. And as a couple of pets he summons, there's a um, uh, the Nightblade. It's just uh, like your assassin, uh, fast, like agility class. Gets into combat quickly, but can't soak up a lot of damage. So mm -hmm. he's more about like mobility, moving around, uh, quick hits, uh, huge single target damage for taking down bosses. Mm -hmm. And then there's uh, the Arcanist, and the Arcanist is more of like your traditional mage character. Uh -huh. It has like the arcane missiles, the comets that come down from the sky, mm -hmm. an ether ray beam, you know that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And then on, beyond that, I mean, you can play those as more of like pure builds, but additionally, you can dual class. Yeah. So you pick a base class, and then at level 10, you can open up a secondary mastery. Right, And it right. allows for just a ton of flexibility. Yeah, yeah, no, it definitely sounds like it. I mean, um, on top of that, the classes, a lot of the skills also have what's called uh, transmuters, which mm. just completely change up the way a skill works. For like example, um, you could take a more physically oriented skill and convert half the damage to elemental, which would mm -hmm. work really well if, say, you were doing a soldier arcanist build. Mm -hmm. Or, like, a soldier has a force wave skill that's kind of like a path AoE with a stun. It's great for crowd control. Mm -hmm. It has a moderate cooldown. You can use a transmuter to remove the cooldown. Mm -hmm. It also reduces the damage a bit, but then you can spam it and use it as a primary attack. Wow, yeah. Now, that's really cool. I know with. Uh you know, these games, like the itemization is such a big part of it. And I know we were talking about a little earlier. Can you tell us a little bit about the itemization and everything yeah, sure. you can do? So, I mean, we got, you know, multiple tiers of items. I mean, there's common, magical, rare, uh, epic, legendary. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting is the rare items are not necessarily always equipped by, uh, eclipsed by epic or legendary. Mm -hmm. You can uh, get double rare apex spawns, so it's like got a rare uh, uh, prefix and a rare suffix. Mm -hmm. Those can be extremely powerful. On top of that, a lot of the skills, um, I mean, a lot of the uh, items actually add item skills. So mm -hmm. there's 275 unique item skills in the game. Mm -hmm. And they range from things uh, like a poison aura that would work well with uh, an occultist uh, poison damage build. Um, or, I mean, some of them will allow you to uh, summon additional pets. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you wanted to build, like, a master, like, summoner, you could uh, not only choose a class that had pets, but then additionally layer on top of it some items that summon additional pets. Mm -hmm. And then some of the item skills are more like passively activated. Right. Things like uh, you get critically hit and it activates an instant heal to kind of help, mm -hmm. you know, take you, uh, get your ass out of the fire. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's uh, there's other stuff like, um, you know, on attack, there's a 10% chance of like a stun AOE going off around mm -hmm. you. 
No, that's really cool. Is there um, online online play and like a lot of co-op online or? Yeah, um, there's uh, both LAN and internet matchmaking multiplayer for up okay. to four people. Cool. And I had to ask, is uh, there PVP a part of that? By there is PVP, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Well, the game looks great. Um, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us, and uh, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, take care.